Hi, today we are going to see Informatica Power Center architecture. Informatica is a service oriented architecture. It is based on the services created. There are two main services. They are integration service and repository service. The multiple services are available. It can be configured according to our needs and also depends on the number of licenses we are having. But two services are mandatory to load any kind of source to any kind of target. Let we will talk about each of the component that uh, present in the diagram. Actually this diagram uh, belongs to the version 9. The latest version released is version 9.5 and there is no much changes made in the power center architecture structure wise. The changes are only in part of the data quality wise. So there is no need to worry about the, uh, that uh, this uh, picture. We can continue with that uh, and the tower center architecture. Okay. First, there are different sources uh, present at the uh, left hand side. Okay. Sources include uh, database, plant files, application unstructured data, and etc. Similarly, the targets. Sources and targets are here connected to domain. First, we have to know what is the domain. Domain is the foundation. Domain is the foundation where all the services are built. Domain is the collection of nodes and services. It is a primary unit of administration. Sources and targets are connected to domain either by native or ODBC drivers. Okay, here at the left extreme side that RDWM, these are all the power center client tools through which only we are going to do the develop and execute the programs. That R stands for Informatica Power Center Repository Manager and D stands for Informatica Power Center Designer and W is Informatica Power Center Workflow Manager and M is Informatica Power Center Workflow Monitor. The repository manager is mainly used for administration and deployment purposes. As, a, as we are going to concentrate on the development track, there is no need to much there is no need to much know about the administration part. Only we are going to create folder and we are going to import the maps and the movement of code from development environment to production environment that is called deployment that can be done with the help of this repository manager then the informatica power center designer here we are going to do the uh, core development work that is the mapping design we are going to do here it is used to create the mappings that logically define what is to be done that is the definition of sources and targets and transformation that what we define on the data Around 75 percentage of the development work is being done by using this Informatica Power Center Designer only. And next is Informatica Power Center Workflow Manager. What is the purpose of this? It is used to create and schedule and run the workflows. We have to know what is workflow. Okay. A workflow is a set of instructions that describe how and when to run the task related to extraction, transformation and loading. Okay. If I want to load one flat file, the all information related to that, that means where it is located, the server path, etc. All configuration related details will be specified in the workflow manager. Only 20 percentage of the details will be specified here. 70 percentage of the work will be done only with the help of the Informatica Power Center Designer. That configuration related details we will specify here. And other thing is Informatica Power Center Workflow Monitor. This is one of the client which is mainly used to see the execution of the jobs. That means the success or failure of the jobs and uh, seeing the session logs and uh, recovering the jobs scheduling or unscheduling and the other things can be done with the help of this uh, workflow monitor we can know how many records got loaded how many get records got rejected everything we can uh, uh, monitor with the help of the informatica uh, power center uh, the workflow monitor already i told you that um, 
informatics as the service oriented architecture there are two services which re require and that uh, basic uh, services that is uh, repository service and integration service actually these are the services which run the uh, assigned task and uh, it helps the other services to perform the task that is the main purpose of these services and i already told you the domain is the foundation that is the basic uh, administration unit while installing the informatica it asks for a database username and password once you give that username and password then our domain will be ready after that what we are going to do is we are going to add a node to the domain you have to know what is node now actually node it's a gateway actually we are adding our uh, physical machine name that means the logical representation of the physical machine is the node actually and we are going to add our uh, machine name that is we are installing for example we are installing the informatica in our laptop means our laptop name will be added to the domain as the node okay actually node is a gateway it receives requests from the client and route them to appropriate services each node in domain run the service manager that manages the services on the node now let me will come to the that uh, installation part uh, that uh, already I told you that, uh, mm, uh, while uh, installing the domain it asks for the username and password once we give the username and password it will uh, install around uh, it will uh, create around 200 tables system tables based on these system tables uh, only the uh, other services will be created as, uh, the tables are called as metadata tables okay uh, initial it will create the table that is only used for internal purpose only that is for uh, informatica purpose okay already told about the two services one is repository service other one is integration service here that power center client is connected entirely uh, to the repository service uh, here these two things workflow and manager is connected to integration service first we have to know what is the repository service Repository service is the main purpose is to store and retrieve the ETL programs. So whatever be the things we are creating, folder we are creating, objects, what are all the things we create, it will be stored in the repository database that is here with the help of the repository service. While uh, after installing the that uh, informatica tool, once it is uh, available, the domain node, everything after creating, we have to we have to create the repository service. The repository service it needs a repository database so it will create the repository tables in the repository database that is also a metadata tables so <coughs> everything will be stored in the repository database in the form of metadata tables so what are all the objects that means when we create any folders uh, when we create any maps everything will be stored in the repository database so the entire the power center client tool is connected to the repository database through repository service okay so what are all the objects we create edit and delete will be done with the help of the repository service repository service main thing is it will save and retrieve the programs then the integration service main purpose of the integration service is to run the program it is not going to do anything with the retrieval or saving it is main purpose is to run the program what that integration service is doing the integration service will receive the workflow name from the workflow manager and it will pass on to the repository service the repository service will pass on to the repository database and will fetch the necessary details from the repository database for the relevant workflow and it will pass on to the integration service the integration service will execute that workflow how it will execute it will fire a select statement in the source and it will retrieve the data and it will do some necessary transformation what are all the things specified in the workflow and it will transfer and it will load it into the database by using the insert statement okay this is the process actually that workflow and uh, monitor is mainly related to integration service connected to uh, it's, it is uh, giving information and uh, getting the information what are all the things uh, after the execution it will be passed on to this uh, client tools okay these are all the things um, that are repository service and integration service are there and um, this is mainly the repository service is mainly used for uh, storage and retrieval integration is uh, uh, used for uh, execution of the uh, programs 
this is one more uh, thing called administration console is there what is the purpose of this this is an umbrella which contain through which we can do all the administration activities well, <coughs> let me will see uh, how it's uh, performs the administration console or not to sl slides we will see and after that uh, we will see something about this architecture okay Okay, I will show you about, the, about this administration console uh, and other slides in the uh, next video as I got some problems with the connectivity issues. I will show it in the next uh, video. Thanks. Bye.